Hey guys, it's Sunday, March 11th, and I spent the morning, yeah, you see that behind me? If you're watching this, you've already seen the footage of that. I spent the morning starting a second Buddha painting. I don't know what possessed me, but I have two canvases the same size. As you saw in the clips, I started painting this one. The idea was that this one, the original, whoops, where are we? This one, she's uh, more of a feminine she, which I, I like. This one, I purposefully tried to do more of a masculine he. Yeah, like kind of yin and yang, right? Um, the person who asked me to do a Buddha for them only wants one, uh, but I'm painting two, <laughs> right? I'm going to let them pick the one they want, and I may keep the other one. I may sell it. I'm not sure. I don't know, but this is layer one on both paintings. Well, or technically two, because layer one was all gold and you didn't see that when I did this one but you did see that in the clip you just saw of this one I covered the entire canvas with some gold paint scratched in a face uh, with a um, corner of a um, gift card thing that I have and then I started painting I'm using the same color palette for both um, they're coming out a little different of course they are um, but it is the same color palette um, I like them both equally. I, I, yeah, I don't know, but yeah. So we're gonna keep going and adding layers and colors and marks until I get something I really like. And uh, I don't know how long that'll take. Every painting's a little different, so we'll see. What else did I, I don't think I got much else done today. Um, the husband's been doing chores. He's did a bunch of yard work. He started the laundry for me. I think he got like most of it done. He's cooking dinner. I've done jack squat except get on the treadmill and paint all day. So, you know, I did chant with uh, my friend Cindy Utter, Vicki Brown, and uh, Leslie McGrath today. That was fun. And I have some sketching and doodling to do that I'm going to catch up on. And um, we're doing this thing where we answer... Um, sorry, my paint's on the floor. We're doing this thing where Cindy and I and a couple other people where we answer questions all year long, a uh, list of questions we found on the internet about your life. And anyway, every day is a little different. So I am a few days behind on my questions, so I've got to catch up on that today too. And then tomorrow I need to go run a couple of um, crafty errands. I'm looking for some pieces and parts for a sewing project. <laughs> I know, right? But I've been watching way too many sewers here on YouTube and y'all are a bad influence. And now I want to make a couple of different things and so I'm going to go run some errands and buy some... I need to get some parts. Um, I'm going to include a couple of my favorite video links that I've um, been obsessed with um, their channel or their video lately in the description below. So check it out. And um, the two projects I'm going to be working on are both pencil bags, and I will share what I can um, during the process. And um, I am looking forward to someday having a little bit bigger craft room because I really would like to have things out that are difficult to get out of the closet when I want to play with them like my sewing machines. And I know it's not all the time, but when it happens, it sure would be nice to not have to dig them out of the closet. It's a pain in the neck or back, or something. That's it for right now. I'm trying to remember, I was sh I was shopping around on the Wish app, and I'm trying to remember right now what it was I went in there and I wanted to search for. As soon as I got the app open and I started looking around, I promptly forgot what it was. If, if, I if you all remember what it was, can you clue me in? Because I don't remember. I have no idea, it's gone. All right, that's it for today. I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday morning, March 12th. Um, and my car clock says 8.40, but we had daylight savings time all over the weekend, so it's actually 9.40. And I'm one of those people that doesn't know how to change the time on their car without looking at the owner's manual, and then it takes me 30 minutes, and I just can't be bothered this morning. It's just not that important to me, I guess. Um, so anyway, we're headed out. Obviously, we're in the car again. Um, 
I have a couple errands I want to run, not need to run. I have a couple actual sewing projects I want to work on coming up soon. And I'm going to go over to the fabric store and get some parts that I know I don't have. So we're going to go do that this morning and I'm going to take you with me. Um, I found these two really cute pencil bag patterns. They're free. Um, the patterns are free. One of them you need a um, piece for that's actually, I found hard to find. I discovered is hard to find. You can get it in a few places from the people who draft the pattern and then um, they or somebody connected to them has an Etsy shop so you can get it there too. And I'll link the patterns in the description below that I'm going to be working on. I have some fabric in my stash that's been printed with my own artwork. And so um, I am kind of anxious to experiment with these patterns and if it turns out to make the some bags out of my own fabric that would be really interesting. And I just ordered one of each of the frames. <clears throat> it's a handbag frame. Anyway, I ordered, it's a particular kind. So I ordered one of each and if it works out then I'll be ordering a couple more of each. And um, the other one's a cute little um, uh, handmade version of a Japanese pencil bag which is really cute so I'm gonna try that one too. I know you're all thinking what sewing? Yeah, I know. I don't do it too much anymore, but when I get a bee in my bonnet about it, you know. It's usually not dressmaking because that's just really not my thing. I learned that the hard way. That being said, I wish I had somebody who liked dressmaking and I could design some clothing for them to make for me that was cute and comfortable and flattering and you know fit well for those of us who have bodies that aren't 20 um yeah anyway i have an idea for that in my head so if y'all you know know somebody we should put that shit down on paper and that might be a future project to at least put it on paper okay so they had everything except the most important part of the project the zippers so that we do have like one other fabric chain around in San Jose. Um, besides the little, um, I don't know, what is it called? Fabric Warehouse, Fabric Land. It's like a clearance fabric store. It's out on the east side. I don't go to that one by myself because it's not in a great neighborhood. But we do have one other one. We have a Beverly Fabrics here in San Jose. It's a little bit away, and I, of course, like chipped a fingernail was in the store. I'm not even sure how I managed that, but um, I'm just sitting here in the parking lot debating if I'm going to go over to Beverly's and take a chance that they have the zipper or just order it. I think I'm going to call them and ask, see if I can get somebody on the phone and ask. I need a double-ended 16-inch and a 22-inch zipper. Jo uh, Joanne had them, but they only had 72 inch, and I am not in the mood to cut the zipper down. Yes, I could do that, but that's a lot of extra zipper. And they only had like tan and black. I kind of wanted white, so there's that. <sighs> Let me make some phone calls. I'll be back. That answered that question. I don't think anybody in San Jose has the double one with the zippers with the two pulls in stock. So I'm going to just have to order them, which is not something I foresaw, or I would have, would have ordered them from the company I got the pattern from and I ordered the frames from. I would have just ordered everything at the same time, but I didn't. So I think I'm going to go home, or when I go home, I think I'm going to um, order some more frames and some zippers from the company. I could get the zippers from Amazon, but the frames you really can't get anywhere else. Um, so I think I'm gonna just do that. It's easier. I am. They do come from Canada, but 
the price isn't bad and um, the shipping's not you know horrible so it's actually not bad so I'm gonna just do that I just have one question why do all Walmart store parking lots in San Jose smell like pee no don't answer that I don't think I want to know <laughs> This is why I don't come to Walmart. There's nothing in there I need to have. <laughs> it's just not. I lose my car in the parking lot. <laughs> you know, this person next to me is like one foot away from my car, so getting into my car was fun, not. <sighs> right? everybody Mr. Krabby and I there he is we're headed to the VET he needs another flu shot so we're gonna go do that and get him some more of his arthritis medicine and then I've got a customer coming over the one I painted the Buddhas for um, they're supposed to pick one hopefully they like it and that's why they're coming over and not they're not coming over to tell me they hate both of them this is the part of making art that I don't care for, to be honest with you, and why I, one of the reasons I don't do lots of canvas. Um, so anyway, um, my hair is like, yeah, anyway, I do need to get on the treadmill at some point today, so yeah, I'm not gonna bother doing anything with my hair or anything. So anyway, we're gonna go head over to the vet. I think Krabby is just happy to be out of the rain and the wet. <laughs> and he prefers to ride in the back seat when mommy's driving because mommy's short and there's more back seat room for him. So, you know. All right, so we're going to go get our stuff done and we will be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, March 14th. Pretty sure. <laughs> anyway, it is a bit later in the morning than I anticipated. It's about 20 after 10. I spent the morning taking care of business stuff, doing my daily writing, talking to the finance bank people again. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, I finally got it done. I'm headed out to go 
run a couple errands. I need to get my husband a new mat for underneath his chair in his office. The old run one is so old and worn that it's cracked and crunchy. I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to be making crunchy noises. So yeah, we're gonna go take care of that. I'll be back. Hey guys, so <laughs> I didn't quite get the errands run uh, all completed and finished <laughs> before <laughs> the heavens decided to open up and dump a whole crap load of water on the state of California. <laughs> or at least the part of the state that I live in. So anyway, we need it, but yeah, holy cow. I'm gonna go home now and try to get things out of the car without things getting too soggy and wet. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Holy cow. I was only in the store a couple minutes. My poor dog's probably hiding from the rain. Anyway, that's it for right now. I'm gonna go home and make a cup of tea. It's still Wednesday. <laughs> Let's see, my car clock says 12.59. That means it's 1.59. Because I still haven't fixed the time on it yet. was really hoping by this time this afternoon I'd be home and maybe making some art. I don't know. Sketching or something? No. I'm still out running around. I've been home and then out again. And in the midst of all that, the vet called and said, Oh, by the way, we didn't give you all of Bandit's prescription yesterday. So can you come back and we'll give you the rest of it? They didn't even tell me. <laughs> so, yeah, it's crazy. It's one of those days. It's Wednesday. Feels like Monday on Wednesday. So anyway, and it's probably the rainiest day of the week so far. Right now it's dry-ish. It's just a light drizzle. So I'm going to try to get this all done before it just starts pouring again. So I'm going to run over to the P.O. box on the way home. <sighs> then maybe I can go home and like sit with my cup of tea, which I still haven't had yet. Holy cow. All right, that's it. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Thursday, March. Crap, I knew this five minutes ago. 15th, I think. I am still not showered, still in my workout clothes, don't have a bra on, and yeah, I'm leaving the house that way. Don't care. Um, I am headed to the bank. We're still working on some financial things. And, um, yeah. <sighs> Back to the safety deposit box for me. Twice in one month. That can't be a good sign. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to go take care of that and probably try to get the mail while I'm out so I don't have to go out again. I was thinking today would be a relaxing day and it just has turned out to not be that way. Have you ever had a day that you thought was gonna go one day and maybe even started out that way. Started out quiet and relaxing and all it takes is one phone call. And it's not something, you know, horrible or life shattering. It's just annoying. And yeah, <laughs> there's nobody else to take care of it but you. And yeah, that's my day today, again. All right, so anyway. You know, the husband's working late. He doesn't want what we have in the freezer for dinner. And it's been a yogurt, pretzels, or other equally bad for you junk food kind of day. So I'm headed to the grocery store at 5.30, which is not something I normally do, 5.30 in the evening. So yeah, there's that. It's been one, one of those kind of days. Y'all have them, so I know you know what I mean. Sorry, it's raining again, windshield wiper, loud noises. So they only had one bag of the yogurt pretzels that I like. <clears throat> they were out of stock. Otherwise, I was glad they had one left. And then they had one bag of fudge pretzels, which I haven't actually tried that one yet. And you know what? It's been one of those kind of days, so I bought both bags. <laughs> Never left. 
Ay, ay, ay. It's just been, yeah, it's been a day. Not all bad, just, yeah, stressful. <laughs> just stressful. Got a few things for dinner, so I've got something for hubby, and um, <laughs> I just saw something wholly inappropriate, which we aren't going to mention here on the vlog. I think I ramble and am crazy enough without me mentioning what I just saw. Um, anyway, it's San Jose. I live in the city. I see just about everything. Um, hey guys, we are in my kitchen and I'm going to make myself my salad. I have, um, I'm going to make salad for myself for dinner. I'm not going to be totally bad to myself and gorge myself on crap because it's been a stressful day, but I am going to have my favorite yogurt covered pretzels for dessert. I like this brand, where are we? which is a gluten-free brand called Glutino. Um, I don't have gluten issues. I just like the way they taste. They're less, um, I think, sugary. Um, I, I, I think they taste less sugary to me, and I like the way they taste better. Um, they also had the fudge-covered ones, so I got a bag of those. Um... And they make cookies and stuff too, but I haven't tried them. But I do like these. The calorie count's not too bad. Um, it's not too bad. I mean, it could be worse. I think my protein bars are worse anyway. So I'm going to leave that one out because I'm going to have that for dessert. I'm going to put this one up here. I have some spinach and arugula. out on my cutting board. I like spinach and I like arugula. I don't generally eat salad that just has like one or the other. I like the mix of greens and the way they taste and of course the spinach has loads of vitamins in it so. <clears throat> so I'm just crunching it up in a ball because I want to just, although these are baby greens, they're still kind of big so we're just kind of giving it a rough, rough chop. And I have a bowl, it's just underneath the camera. And then I have a few cherry tomatoes uh, that I want to eat up. So I'm going to just cut them in half. This is a Japanese uh, chef's knife, Japanese brand. I don't remember what brand now, right now. Probably says on here somewhere. But you know, it's been one of those kind of brands, uh, days. So anyway, I don't know. Anyway, it's really sharp, so keep your fingers out of the way. When you're using any knife, keep your fingers out of the way. Take all precautions. Supervise young ones. Work on a cutting board. All those things. This is just easy. This is I eat this for dinner a lot, so, so we're going to put these in the... Um, bowl. I'm going to scrape with the back of your knife, not the sharp end. You'll dull your knife. Okay. Then I have these chicken meatballs that my <laughs> husband refuses to eat because he says they look weird. That they kind of look <laughs> like testicles. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know. He might be right about that, but they smell amazing. And I like to put either a Mediterranean chicken skewer um, or two or a couple of these chopped up into my salad. So we're going to pull out three. And then again, like with the tomatoes, I'm just going to give them a, a chop. They smell amazing. I wish, I wish you could smell them.
And you would never put nice knives like this in your dishwasher. It's bad for your knife. Always hand wash it, just FYI. <coughs> so put this away. Got my handy dandy bag clip. So then I like lots of different kinds of dressings, but I'm going to just put ranch dressing on this good old Hidden Valley buttermilk ranch dressing. Not a ton. I'm not one of these people that has to have my salad drowning in dressing. That would be Mr. Aaron's. <laughs> and then um, these tongs. My pa favorite pair of tongs, I got these one year at Target around Thanksgiving, I think, because we were having people over, and I had two pair. I gave one to my daughter, but I'll tell you what, I use these so much that if I ever see them again, I'll, I'll get myself another pair. And that's it. That's my dinner. Quick and easy, painless, good, semi-good for you. I don't know, the ranch dressing's... It's okay. You need a few calories, right? All right. So what are you having for dinner? I'd like to know. Hey guys, how are you? We are in my art room. As you can see, my hair is wet as usual. <laughs> Crap. I knew what day it was a minute ago. I know it's Friday, March. Oh, crapola. We have to cheat. March, what day is it? 16th. <laughs> Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're doing corned beef and cabbage. Uh, I don't think we are because we're going to a friend's. I think we're doing pizza, but anyway. I'll probably pick up a corned beef and cook it at some point. Um, so this morning I have been doing chores. I still have to go do the breakfast dishes. And I'm going to put on some tennis shoes because it's still raining outside. And I'm going to go run a couple of errands. Not really errands. That's a lie. I'm going to go do some retail therapy at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> um, I've been chatting with a friend this morning who's having some issues and going through some difficulties. And um, it's the same person who I was doing these for. Um, he may or may not still want one of them. I d he only wanted one, and I painted two. I did this one and then this one. And I will be letting you all know um, if he may not be getting either one of them. Like I said, he's been going through some personal difficulties. It's not because of the paintings or that he doesn't like them. There's just some personal issues. So depending on what happens with that, both of them may be up for sale. But at the very least, one of them will be. And um, I will be letting you guys know as soon as I know when that happens. They're about 24 by 24 um, square. I have a special project coming up um, for a company and I have to go get a big canvas because they want me to be, yeah, anyway, I can't say too much about it. That's all I can do. So I got to go get another big canvas, which I wish I had known before I painted both of these because I would have just done one, <sighs> but and I don't have any more blank canvas. So anyway, I need another one. So I'm going to go do that this morning and I might pick up a little fabric I want to do a flannel dust cover for my Chic Sparrow Traveler's Notebook cover, which I love. This is the front of it, and it says, move forward with intention. Um, they sent it in a plain beige-colored um, flannel sack that I was thinking I could turn it into a proper, like, dust cover sleeve that closed, something that I could put it in, like, when I'm traveling with it so it doesn't get dinged up too much because um, I just love it so much. Um, but the flannel's not quite big enough, and they just, basically it was a flannel bag. Um, I really wish it had at least been a drawstring bag, because that would have been cool, but it wasn't. So I think I'm going to go get some flannel to do something with. I did seam rip it last night, mostly so I could get the label off. So I'll probably be um, doing that for YouTube here, and um, doing some kind of tutorial and tagging them. Hopefully it gives them some ideas of what they can do. Um, it would be a good new product line for them to have, like, some kind of sleeve or pocket you could store it in um, and travel with it in. Anyway, um, 
laundry is working. I need to go do the breakfast dishes, and then I need to head out. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll be back. I almost forgot to do the dishes before I left the house. But the dishwasher's running, the laundry is working, and I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby. Let's go. try to do this one-handed but I went into Hobby Lobby I got a big 24 by 36 inch blank canvas for a project um, in which I can't really explain the project I can only be really super vague about it but I am involved in a project in which I need a half finished canvas which at some point after the project I will finish so I got another blank canvas because I didn't have a big one I only had little teeny tiny ones and that won't work um, my question to you all is we're going to do a survey. So in the comments below, I'd like to have you comment with what sort of subject matter for a large painting would you like to see me do and or would you like to buy from me if I did do. So in light of what's happened with the two purple Buddhas, I want to explain. We had a question recently in one of my Facebook groups that I teach in. Um, as to why people work in journals rather than on canvas. The reason for that is, um, and I'm going to turn my car off so people don't think I'm leaving. Um, the reason for that is I am not one of these lucky artists that is really um, having great luck selling canvas. So I started working in journals. I have lots of finished canvas hanging around. Uh, that people seem to like, they just don't want to buy. Um, I was in a gallery in which I created pieces for them um, and we went back and forth about what they really liked and I tweaked things and worked with them until I, I had pieces that they loved and they hung in the gallery, the gallery went out of business. Um, I have um, people who I do pe pieces for like this one that's happened now and then something in life happens and they just can't, although they love the painting, they just can't justify it anymore. So it's just canvas bad luck. Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I think I give more away than I sell which is why I started doing the rubber stamp line and the stencil line so that I could try to make some money at my art, which I love, to support the art habit. So there you have that. That's an honest thing for me. So I have all this canvas laying around, some of which is not well done and some of which is beautiful and it just isn't selling. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. What, do you, what is your all opinion? Leave something in the comments. What would you like to see me do on this canvas? Um, yeah, you know, I'm thinking maybe a Pauline Ab Agnew abstract style landscape might be interesting. I'll put her link to her website in the description below. She's a really great artist and online teacher, FYI, and in-person teacher. Um, so there's that. So I did get the canvas from Hobby Lobby. I also got a few other things. Let's put that purse on the floor. Okay. I got an unexciting little metal bucket for some crayons that are sitting by my desk. I got some sew-in Velcro. Really pretty colors. Again, not super exciting. I got one tube of Dina Wakely Heavy Body Media Paint for $1.75 in Evergreen. They only had Evergreen left. I've kind of avo avoided coming um, during most of these paint clearances and stuff because I really have too much paint, but I could use that evergreen. Um, I got a spool of thread. I know, not exciting, right? I found this. I didn't need it at all, but I just had to have it because it has a great message, right? And I refuse to give up on the art thing, although I have bad canvas luck. <laughs> so I have that. 
Somebody just pulled in next to me, so they're going to think I'm a raving lunatic. Sorry. So then I went to the fabric department because I needed fabric for a project. And of course, I came out with a few extra pieces of fabric that I don't really need. So they had some really pretty um, colored and printed gauze fabric, which is a really sheer, thing, uh, fine um, fabric, like think like cheesecloth type fabric. So they had this one with butterflies printed on it. I just got a little piece because I think it's interesting for mixed media. I of course got the solid colored turquoise because of course I did. And then I want to make a, a sleeve, protective sleeve for my uh, Chic Sparrow um, Traveler's Notebook. I said that already. So um, the fabric they sent in their little bag was too small. So I did get some beige colored flannel that's similar to the one that notebook came in. And then for the outside, look at the fabric I found. And I just had her cut a half a yard of each, and then as she was cutting the other fabrics, I kept looking at this cactus one. And I don't know what I'm going to make out of, it, out of it. Maybe pencil bags or something. I don't know. But I had to get another piece. I just had to. Because it's so cute. So, that's what I got. It is great. <sighs> okay, so I got some of the stuff this week that's been stressing me out taken care of and it's being resolved, yay. So now it's time to clean up the kind of mess that has become my office and art room because right now I can't do anything over there between the bags and the canvas and then the paintings behind me. I need to put things away. We're in Campbell going to, where are we going? Rock Bottom Brewery. We're meeting friends for dinner. We're not doing family dinner night this week. We're doing family Sunday breakfast instead. So yeah, there's that. So we're going to go sit down and have some drinks with friends and have a nice dinner out and you know I'll film something if I can. Alright, I'll be back. Good morning everybody. It is Saturday morning just before 11 o'clock and Yes, we're in the car again. Yes, my hair is wet again. It is Saturday morning. March 17th, it's St. Patrick's Day. Um, I am headed out to the grocery store to get some stuff for tonight and tomorrow. So we're meeting with friends tonight. We're having the kids over for breakfast tomorrow. Um, So I'm doing that while the husband's at, uh, in his office working. I almost said at work. He is at work, but he's at our house at work. Um, okay, that was interesting. So there's a reason I don't go to the grocery store normally on Saturday, especially by myself. There's a lot of people here. Plus it's St. Patrick's Day, so everybody's buying beer and corned beef and cabbage for the St. Patrick's Day festivities. But it was pretty funny, the weird part, <laughs> it was pretty funny. All the interesting uh, looks I got on my way into the store and while I was in the store um, <laughs> about the leggings I have on I kept getting all these funny looks and people looking down at my legs I'm gonna insert a picture here <laughs> for you there are a pair of tie-dye leggings I really love them but evidently <laughs> evidently they're a little odd but I'm okay with being odd anyway I'm gonna go home and unpack my groceries and get out of the madness. All right, I'll be back. What I told you guys about not can't not being able to be bothered about fixing the clock in my car until it drove my husband absolutely batshit crazy and I let him fix it because it just took me too long. I can't be bothered. Guess what he did while I was in checking the mail? It took ten seconds. Yeah, hey, what'd you do? I hit the. Uh, you fixed the clock. I hit, fixed the clock. <laughs> you I hit, fixed I hit the, clock. the up button and went from one oh one to two oh one. See, told ya. It's easy. It worked. Hello, everybody. So I'm actually filming this weeks of vlog ending on Sunday morning. We got home last night. It was after, well after midnight. We were up 
until very late at a friend's watching movies. We watched Thor Ragnarok and Doctor Strange. Had a nice meal and snacks with friends. It was a lot of fun, uh, but we got home really late. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. And <clears throat> on the way there, I got some interesting photos of just the sunlight coming through the storm clouds. It was, I don't know, I found them fascinating. So I'm going to include those in the vlog. And if you find them interesting, there you go. <laughs> Make some art from them. I don't know. I, th I find them interesting. So that's it for right now. I am going to have some more coffee. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you had a good week. I hope you had a fun time watching this vlog. And let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns in the comments down below. And um, don't forget the most important thing besides like, share, and subscribe. Um, go out and have a great day, people. And do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Thank you.